Hello my wonderful friend, today's video is on weird things a girl does when she likes you. Gonna talk a little bit about female psychology and some subtle signs that she likes you. Sometimes finding and attracting a really high quality, really classy woman can feel like an uphill battle, it can feel a little bit frustrating, right? Well understanding how women think and female psychology is how you get that dream girl. When you don't understand it, you're kind of setting yourself up for more frustration and really for heartache. So in this video, as we talk about the weird things a girl does when she likes you, it'll help you understand female psychology. This, these things, understanding how women think, that is how you make getting your dream girl simple. So make sure you watch to the end. Now before we dive into these weird things, if this is your first time watching, welcome! My name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men. This is the number one place for you to learn how to find, attract, and keep the girl of your dreams. If you're looking for a happy, lifelong relationship without drama and mind games and frustration, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell and be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Now, as we get started with this, there are two videos I'm also going to mention and put links in the description below for you. The first one, this one, is signs she wants you to make a move. Pretty important information, right? And this one is on the five steps to getting your dream girlfriend. Again, I'll put links in the description below. As you're getting in this mindset, figuring out how women think, those videos are going to be very, very important for you to watch. Okay, are you ready for the first weird thing a girl does when she likes you? Number one, she will test out how her name sounds next to yours. Sounds a little weird, I know, but girls totally do this. So let's say for instance that your name is Mike Johnson or whatever. And let's say her name is Hannah Brown. So she will say, Hannah Johnson. Hmm, how does that sound? Mike and Hannah. Hannah and Mike. Mike and Hannah Johnson. And she's going to go through these scenarios in her head of what it sounds like. A little bit weird, right? But the reason she does this is it it kind of helps her feel connected to you. She's kind of picturing what it would be like if you were a couple or if you were married. And it's just this funny thing girls do, especially like she'll talk to her friends about this as well. Now, you might be thinking at this point, oh shoot, what if I have a really weird last name? Are, are some of you thinking that right now? Totally okay. The truth is she really doesn't care so much about the name. She just cares about the fact that it belongs to you. And at the most, what she's thinking is, how in the world will I ever figure out and remember how to spell that? Like, that's something she legitimately might worry about. But other than that, it's not so much the name that matters, it's the fact that it's like your name. The second weird thing a girl does when she likes you is she starts to notice if you have the traits she's looking for in a husband. I'm talking about are you classy? Are you kind? Are you assertive? Do you set boundaries? Do you have good social skills? Are you fun to be around? Do you have high morals? All of those types of traits that she's looking for in the man she wants to be her husband, in the man she wants to be the father of her children. Now, if you've watched my videos for a while, you guys know I teach you do not marry her before you marry her. If you haven't seen this video yet, you need to watch it. There's a link in the description below. When I say she's paying attention to see if you have the traits she's looking for in a husband, I do not mean she's committing too soon and marrying you before she marries you. She's just paying attention. Now some people might think this is a little bit weird to be paying attention to that, but the truth is, it's kind of what dating is for, right? The whole reason you date someone is because you want it to eventually turn into marriage. And in all honesty, you should be doing this too. You should 100% be doing the same thing when you get to know women. Start noticing if they have the traits you're looking for in a wife. This is why the very first step I walk my clients through in my program, How to Get a Girlfriend, is how to become clear on what they even want because that's how you get what you want. The number one reason people are unhappy in relationships is because they settled for less than they wanted. And far too often it's simply because 
they didn't really know what they wanted, so they just married the first person who seemed interested. So if you find yourself in this situation where you don't have your dream girl, maybe you have a, a pretty good girl or, or a nice girl, but you really, you just want that dream girl, you need to become crystal clear on what it is you actually want. Now here's something important. Classy women have already created that clarity. They already know the most important things they're looking for. This is why it's really important that you know what it is classy women are looking for because, a little bit of a secret for you, all classy women are looking for the same core things. Yes, some women are more attracted to certain personalities than others, but all classy women are looking for the same core traits. This is why when I teach my clients how to get their dream girl, I teach them what those core things are. It's pretty empowering to know those things, right? Making sure you understand what those traits are and make sure those traits are a part of you, they are habits. That is how you one, become absolutely irresistible to your dream girl, but also avoid being ghosted or, or being dumped a lot. Because if she starts to get to know you and realizes you don't have those traits, that's when she ends the relationship, which makes sense, doesn't it? So are you thinking right now, wow, I'm really ready to stop being ghosted. I'm ready to stop having dead end relationships and I'm ready to just have the formula to get my dream girl. If that's you right now, this is exactly what I teach in my program. To learn more about that and learn the secrets to getting your dream girl, the secrets nobody else teaches, make sure you watch my free masterclass. Go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. I will also put a link in the description below and a link in the pinned comment. Honestly, I have helped hundreds of men with these things and I'm confident it will work for you as well. So again, make sure you go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. Okay, our next weird thing a girl does when she likes you is that she tells her friends everything about you. And I mean like everything. So they're going to know like what your cologne smells like, what you say, how you say it. You, they're going to know like where you grew up, what your favorite foods are, what your favorite colors are. When a girl is interested in a guy, she talks about him a lot, okay? She like gets those butterflies in her stomach and she gets super excited. And honestly, her friends are probably going to be a little bit sick of hearing about you. But the truth is she is having the time of her life just talking about you because she's thinking about you. This is a very good subtle sign to look for if you're wondering if she likes you or not. If you notice that her friends like know things about you that like there's no way they would know, yeah, it's because she's told them. It's very subtle, but it's very powerful. Okay, our next weird thing a girl does when she likes you is a little funny to say out loud. And I will be perfectly honest, not all women are going to do this. Each woman is a little different. However, many, many women will do this. And that is, that she'll like download your pictures onto her phone <laughs> or she'll like screenshot your stories because she wants to look at you. <laughs> it sounds a little funny when you say it out loud, but it's totally true. She'll like get on your social media and go, oh wow, that's a really, really nice picture. And she'll like screenshot it or she'll download it or maybe if she's watching like your stories on Instagram or something and she's like, oh, he looks really cute. She might, you know, screenshot it. Now she's probably not going to like be public about this. She's probably not going to make it her background on her phone um, until you're like dating seriously. However, do not be surprised if you find out at some time that she may or may not have pictures of you on her phone. Okay, quick question before we get to our next sign. I wanna hear from you in the comments, guys. Are you enjoying this video? Would you like more videos on female psychology and how women think? If you would, comment how women think in the comments below to let me know. Your feedback helps me so much, so thank you for that. Again, if you want more videos, on this, make sure you comment how women think. And while you're in the comments, if you wanna tell me which of these weird things you think is the most weird, I really wanna hear it, guys. Like, I seriously wanna know your thoughts on this. So let me know in the comments. Okay, the next weird thing a girl does when she likes you is that she kind of stalks you on social media. <laughs> Facebook stalking has kind of turned into an internet joke, yeah. It's no joke, it's a real thing. Now here's why, a high quality woman is always looking for a high quality man. And one of the really easy ways for her to know if you're a high quality man 
is by what you post on social media, who you follow on social media, how you interact with people on social media. Social media at this point in society is really just an extension of the thoughts we think and the things we do. Now this is important, please pay close attention. A classy woman, a high quality woman, she respects you. Whether or not she is interested in you, whether or not you ever have a relationship with her, she respects you as a person. So she does not want to waste your time. She doesn't want to waste your money. She doesn't want to risk hurting you. So if she can find out early on in the relationship if this is going to work or not, she's going to find out. That way she doesn't waste your time. She doesn't waste her time. Nobody has to get hurt. So if she goes to your social media and sees that maybe you don't follow some accounts that are super appropriate, or maybe you post things that are really immature or maybe not super appropriate. Maybe if she sees even that you just aren't compatible, you completely disagree about some pretty important things. She wants to know that right now so she can just end it and move on. However, if instead she goes to your social media account and she sees, oh my goodness, I like that too. Oh my goodness, we have the same opinions about things. No way, he's into the same things I enjoy. Wow, he looks super cute. I'm gonna look through all his pictures. That's the ideal scenario. That's what she wants to see. And so she's definitely going to go through your social media, maybe Facebook, maybe Instagram, wherever it is you hang out online she's going to do that. Now, you may not know she's doing it. As a matter of fact, she will go to great lengths for you not to know usually because she doesn't want it to be awkward. You get on to check your notifications, 100 likes, you know, it's just gonna be a little awkward and, and weird. So she will probably not be obvious about it. However, you can almost guarantee that if she likes you, she's been through your social media. She's checked it out seen what there is to see. A high quality woman will always look for a high quality man. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, you need to know what that means, right? You need to know what that looks like. You need to know what it means to her and how to show her that you are that kind of man, right? This is exactly what you will learn in my program. I make it fast and simple for you so you don't have to be frustrated trying to figure it out on your own because the truth is there's a lot of room for error, right? not anymore. That's why I've put this together for you. To learn more about that program, to learn about what I teach and why it is so crazy effective, watch my free masterclass at coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. I will put a link in the description below and a link in the pinned comment. When you are tired of wasting time with the wrong gals and ready to just find that dream girl, that's where you need to start. Thank you so much for watching my amazing friend. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell and give me a big thumbs up. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Do you want more videos that talk about female psychology and how women think? If you do, comment how women think and let me know which of these weird things girls do you think is the most weird. Do you have a friend who would enjoy this video? Make sure you share it with him. I know he's going to love it. If we're not yet friends on social media, there are links in the description below. Make sure you especially follow me on Instagram. I share exclusive content in my stories there. Thank you so much again for watching my amazing friend and have an amazing day. Our next, si oh yeah, our next weird sign, or no, our, yeah, well, it's fine. I have to be careful because there are zippers on my jacket, <laughs> but they look really cool. So <laughs> small price to pay, I guess. Now here's why a high quality woman is looking. <sighs> There's a jet. We made it so far. Yes. We made it almost to the end of the video before we got a jet. I feel like, I feel like that's improvement. I feel like we should be good, you know, like proud of that had no control over it, but I still feel like we should be proud of it, <laughs> you know. So those of you who watched in my bloopers, I have a bonus question for you while we wait for the jets to pass. What do you think is the weirdest thing a guy does when he's attracted to a girl? Tell me in the comments, I wanna hear about it. You know what another embarrassing thing is that sometimes a, a girl will do if she's thinking about a guy a lot because she likes him? <laughs> is sometimes his name will just pop out of her mouth and she didn't mean it to. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Or somebody says his name, whether it's him or somebody else with the same name, and she's like, what? <laughs> it was like a little embarrassing. Anyway, moving on.